Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Rome, and we are in the year 40,000. Uh, we're not quite there. I don't know. Why does 43rd millennium sound better than 40th millennium? I don't know. In the grim dark, there is only war and kitten videos. Because let's be honest, those aren't going anywhere. Some things are recession proof. Prostitution, alcohol, and kitten videos. Anyway, today we are taking a look at my veteran sharpshooter. Now he is level 21, which is probably not technically early game, but we're gonna be playing early game content because I think for us to call it mid game, we would probably wanna be playing with an actual set group of players doing maybe level threes or fours. Um, and I'm going to do a level two mission here today in a pickup group because frankly, um, every time I've tried to do more than that, we've, we've, we've just gotten our asses handed to us. So <clears throat> this happens to be Rome, my veteran sharpshooter. This was meant to be my primary character. It's not my highest level character at the moment, although it, it is close. Um, but there are just way, way, way too many veteran sharpshooters out there in the game. And uh, I got tired of playing, you know, in a party with four veteran sharpshooters. Uh, and my own personal, like, uh, co-op party that I play with some friends, um, we also already had a veteran sharpshooter. We did not have a zealot. So I have been playing a zealot as my main for the most part, which is not quite as bad as the veteran sharpshooter, but it's pretty damn close. So either way, the, there's both. There's too many of both of them. Um, I happen to be running with a tactical axe, which I just picked up this last time, I think. Uh, I think it was a, a gift from the emperor. Um, so we'll give it a go. Uh, that's its stats right there. It's primarily a single, um, single attack weapon. You can see sing, uh, one enemy, one enemy, one enemy efficient on weak spots. So this is one that you're trying to hit somebody in the head with. Uh, and then a powerful attack uh, that is not specific to uh, weak spots for, for our heavy. So anyway, that's it. Flurry, uh, high attack speed, aim for weak spots. You got it. Um, I have a power sword as well. It's where he's going to be passed. Um, but you can see base level is about a 30 difference. And, and in fact, it's about a 30 difference as far as uh, additional as well. Uh, we are using a Mark Mark 8 Infantry Auto Gun. Um, so far, this right here uh, is my favorite. Uh, the Infantry Laz Gun Mark IV. I love this thing. It's amazing. It's great. It is super versatile. It's great for long range snipe shots. It's great for up close. It shoots very quickly. Um, this one happens to have a bonus to reload speed and an additional 7.5% power on the first shot. So I like this one a lot. Um, I have this recon last gun, which I've also run with. Um, this was a gift for the Emperor as well. Um, and it does more range damage against Groaners and Pox Walkers. It's a little bit better against Maniacs. Uh, and I'm immune to range attack of 0.5 on a close range kill. Um, despite the fact that it is considered a recon, um, rapid fire, heavy capacity, I don't like it as much in close combat as I like the infantry last gun. Now, this last time, um, I don't remember if I bought this or it was a gift for the Emperor. This one might have been another gift for the Emperor. I've gotten a lot of gifts from the Emperor on this one, which is why I'm wondering, in my last video, I started to wonder if um, gifts from the Emperor have to do with how you do in the party as far as damage. Um, because I think this is probably the class I'm best at. Not good at, don't, don't mistake those two things, but best at. Um, I do tend to get more gifts from the Emperor playing as a marksman than I do anything else. And, and maybe that's why other people play it. Maybe. Maybe it truly is the best class at the moment. I don't know, um, but it's my strongest one. Um, so I haven't played it yet. Uh, so we're gonna give this infantry auto gun a chance. Uh, feet wise, what are we set up at the moment? 5% um, toughness per second, while well, more than eight meters from enemies. I try to stay a little bit away. Now the problem is when you get swarmed, obviously, and you really want that extra toughness, uh, you ain't getting it because they're on top of you. My other option is uh, additional toughness on a ranged weak spot. If I have time to sit down there and snipe weak spot kills, I probably, um, don't need the toughness uh, and replenish 25% toughness on elite kill. I don't know how many elites I actually kill over the space of a game. Um, and so I think that's probably fine. Now that's not a ranged kill notice. So that could potentially help us uh, with a melee kill, but um, it is what it is. Um, we also have for our second level of feats, we have 20% increased range damage based on how far away you are. So obviously the farther away you are, the more you get. So if you can maintain that distance and you can play full sniper, great. I think it's hard to do with a pickup group um, because they don't clear out areas. They tend to just keep running forward. And so there's always somebody spot behind you ready to kill you in a, a set group party where you can move a little bit slower. You take your time. Um, people don't run off up the stairs and leave you. Um, this, is, this is definitely viable. 
uh, tactical reload, additional reload speed if you have ammo on your weapon. If you're running slow, like an auto gun, uh, not an auto gun, a bolt gun, um, then this is great uh, to get that additional reload speed. Um, really, really useful. Um, I like this replenish one grenade. It means I can just throw a lot of grenades and not worry about it. Um, Bio-optic targeting here for the level three. Our volley fire, so that's when, that's our special ability right here. Uh, range stands for five seconds, instantly equipping your ranged weapon, designated nearby non-ogre and elite and special units priority targets. Um, and you do an additional 50% damage. Uh, when you do this, it, it, it highlights them all for everybody else. Uh, well, everybody in coherency. Um, that's assuming your teammates are staying in coherency, of course, or that you're staying in coherency, because you could be equally as guilty of this, especially as, as if you're playing more sniper and you're staying back a little ways, there's a reasonable chance that not much of your party is in coherency. Uh, demolition team, you and allies in coherency have a 5% chance to gain a grenade on an elite enemy kill. Um, and covering fire, when you kill an enemy with a ranged attack, allies in melee range of the target replenish 10%. So I like this one more because most likely, uh, if I have a lot of allies that are up in melee combat and I start killing people around them, they're going to get more toughness back, which is going to allow them to stay in the fight up front. It's, a, it's, it's essentially, as far as I'm concerned, just a great range support, um, ability, feat, whatever you want to call it, um, to, it is a feat, um, to help your, your frontliners stay in the front line. Um, level three ones, we get these at level 20, uh, additional toughness damage reduction from ranged attacks during volley fire. So only when I've got volley fire up and running, um, dodging, sprinting, or sliding to avoid, uh, attacks grants you 20% stamina. That's nice. Cause if you are sprinting and you avoid attacks, um, you get additional 20% stamina, which allows you to keep sprinting farther because sprinting takes, takes stamina. Um, and camo expert while standing still. Uh, enemies are significantly less likely to target you now. I think this is really good, um, potentially. Um, it is more of a sniper play style where you are in back, you are standing in one place, you are taking your shots. I don't know how useful it's gonna be. Uh, I am only level 21 and this is a level 20. So I've only had it for a couple levels or for a couple missions and I don't really know how useful it's gonna be, but I'm gonna give it a go. Our normal ability is we have blitz that we just throw a grenade. Um, we've got aura. Um, so we're in incoherency. We gain a small amount of ammo whenever you, uh, any of you kill an, an elite enemy. Um, sometimes that's great. Like, you know, if you run out of ammo, um, I find as the game goes on, that's become less of an issue. And I, partly because of weapons I choose, partly because parties have been a little bit better about not all just stealing the ammo. Uh, we do additional weak spot damage and we increase ammo reserve for all ranged weapons. Uh, by 40 percent this one obviously plies in well with our current melee weapon which is a again bonus weapon on weak spots so um, aiming for those uh definitely helps us out with both melee and range so that's what we got um if you're interested in cosmetics i have paid for cosmetics for i paid for one big pack of cosmetics um and i kind of bought a little bit for everybody so for um my marksman here i bought the cheap outfit so the uh kadian 802nd uh pants uh, all tanker stuff. My dad was a tanker. Um, I was not, uh, although uh, M60A1 is the only military vehicle I've driven, um, despite being in the army for six years, unless you count satellites. Um, so, uh, so I like that. I like, I think it's a good looking gear. And then we're running the beta helm. Um, I don't think I have anything else special for the helm. I don't, there's, there's his face. Um, as far as the rest of it goes, um, this is what you start with. Uh, this was next. And that was after that. I'll stick with our kind of our bomber tanker jacket. And from a pants standpoint, um, I think I get the next set of pants at 25. So this is the first one. This is the second one. And I don't have the third one yet. So um, that is it. I haven't seen any accessories. I don't know what they are. I don't have any uh, frames. Uh, everything from ones that were given to you for being in the beta, which uh, is this, this one. There you go. That's the beta one. The rest of these are ones I've earned in game. Um, for various reasons, and the insignia. Uh, again, you get these for 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 specific perks, uh, stances as well. Okay, I'm gonna take a look here real fast. We'll see if there's anything for sale um, that I really love. Um, Hellbore Laz gun. The Lucius pattern is the Krieg uh, style one. If that's the one, you, if you're interested in that sort of stuff. Um, so this one does big charged attacks. If you similar to the Lucius pattern um, with bayonet and charged attacks. Power sword, okay. Um, plasma gun is amazing. If you guys get a chance to play with the, pow the plasma sword I, or plasma gun, I have really, really enjoyed the plasma gun and the bolt gun both. Um, we could we could compare 
Um, 253 versus 265. I have just recently stopped using the plasma gun uh, to go back to the last gun and now, and now these. So we'll see how it goes. And obviously the bolt gun is a blast. Um, so I don't see anything there I need. Let's run up here. I think what we'll do is we will just randomly pick. We'll go quick action level two. Um, so we'll just go here. We'll go ahead up to Uprising, which is the level two, and we'll just hit play. This will automatically throw us into, into a team that needs somebody. Um, we might get lucky and just have to play the end and get some a lot of XP for, for very little work. We might end up at the very beginning. We'll find out. We might be in a horrible party that keeps killing all its members, and uh, they drop out, and, and that's why we're there. So we shall see. Uh, we are in a party that just didn't have anybody. It looks like it was just this dude started out uh, with two bots. So it's 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 most likely going to be me, him, and two bots, unless some other people are joining in as we're we're joining in as well. Um, so we'll see. I mean that's fine. I don't have a problem with that. It's one real person to keep track of. The bots generally stay reasonably close to you, uh, and I believe they will actually teleport to you if they end up too far away. Um, so I don't know. I don't hate the bots. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't think they're as bad as people want to pretend they are. Um, it's an easy points to, you know, criticize the developer of a game by criticizing their, the, the bot AI, right? Oh, wait, so we are just beginning, it looks like. Let's go ahead and get to our auto gun. Do a little sprint. Bam, bam, huh? Okay. It's a good name. Yeah, we are at the very beginning. He just started. So we're going to do the whole mission here. We'll see who we get with Musat and uh, and Fastgel, Balin. Oh, those retreated back to me, interestingly enough. So one of them's uh, Marksman, and the other is... They're both Marksmen. Both Marksmen. Uh, apparently the bots tend to be always Marksmen. I don't know that they always are, but they, they seem to be. Yeah, I don't like this as much just because it's harder to aim with. But it does do a boatload of damage. It hits like a truck, so we'll, we'll give it that. Um, hey, little people. Um, but yeah, I think I still prefer my last gun. We'll bail out on this side. All right, nobody there. Uh, can't shoot him because he... Well, was in the way and then dropped down. Eh, it didn't do as much as I thought. Oh, that could have been bad. Who the hell is shooting me? Oh, I got the wrong... Ah! I was stuck on the grenade and just doing the wrong one on top of that. That was me just being bad. Uh, but somehow I came out of it without any real damage, so go figure. Dog. Somebody else killed it. Nice. run through people that are shooting, right? Because all you're going to do is block their shot. You know, don't do it. Just, if they're shooting, run to the side. You know, it's easy. No more Rager. Oh. He was climbing up. Uh, Bam Bam's the only one that needs this. Is he going to take it? Uh, we did get some new guys. We got Lo Wang and Mad Martigan. Good names. Interesting. So we've got uh, a Zealot and another Ogren. This should be a pretty good group, actually. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see multiple Ogrens very often. Good 
This is one of those ways where, in theory, getting some additional melee kills will help them out. And we'll just come up here and smash a few guys. Oh, we got some loot down there that I want. That's crafting supplies. We'll try to make our way a little, little push back there. Grab that. We got a few more up here. Now that is why we keep an ogre in the room. Bam Bam's already moving on. That's okay. Let's go ahead and get up here. Oh, uh, if you say so, Mad Mardigan. All right. Bam Bam's got the big shield, too. That's cool. Not much I can do here. I don't really have a shot. He's hiding behind them, so we'll just we'll just step in here. Alright, so Mad Mardigan is the type to steal ammo from, from party members that clearly need it. Actually, I didn't look to see what his ammo level is like ahead of time, but um, but he doesn't need it now. Bam Bam does, and I can always use it. I'm not quite sure what my... I do not, however, need grenades, because uh, I can always redo. Nobody else needs this one. I'll go ahead and take it. I'm gonna hop down, quick reload. You should always drop down, by the way, if you get cornered like that, because he's on another level. We can't we can't save him. We can't heal him if he if he dies up there. He's 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 just gone until he respawns somewhere else and you have to rescue him from there. So you should try to stay on the level that your friends are on. Um if you can. Um, in a case like that. I think it's just axe time. Let me ask you a question. Uh, it's a really common thing for snipers to end up up there, right? So it, this is an issue I've been in a lot. So I speak from experience here. Oh, come on. There we go. Grenade did its job. Sniper somewhere. Yeah, this one's not as controllable. It's harder to stay on target. I think I definitely prefer my LAS gun. I don't think you can change weapons in a fight, but I'm going to try really quick. Um, no, you can't. Okay. I was going to say, I was pretty sure you couldn't, but you never know. You can at the beginning of a mission. When you're in the load screen, uh, not the load screen, but when you're all sitting around... Um, you can change weapons there. So when you see what your party composition is... In theory, you could, uh... Sorry, I had to, I had to kill some people on me before I could help with that. Let's see, can I do this? Ooh, I can't believe I got that click. There we go. I'm doing okay, actually, all things considered. Party's in decent shape. I'm in good shape. Got no complaints. Oh, that's done. So we can get the hell out of here. A lot of these missions have like, you know, one or two early kind of choke points where you have to sit and fight a big fight and then then travel and then your final one will be kind of running back and forth and trying to do that. There's definitely a, 
um, a bit of a... Um, I don't know if there's a... In theory, tab tells you what's going on. I don't know. It tells us the mission, but it doesn't... Okay, where can I go to get a shot at this guy? Are we going to pull him out? He's got a weak spot on the back. I don't know if I can get to it, though. Here, let's... There we go. Let's go ahead, hunting. And again, we want to do... We want to hit those weak spots. Right? Which is difficult, because Bam Bam's running away. Uh, I prefer my Ogrens to stand and fight. All right, just put your shield down if you got it. Oh, I just got stumped by the other guy. Okay, well. Let me see if I can get Bam Bam up and running. We got a bunch of ragers on us. Come on, Bam. Oh, I could get Bam Bam. Uh, somebody else want to shoot this guy? That's all I need. I just need somebody else to shoot him to turn around. I'm not doing any damage on him. He shouldn't be aggroed on me, except that nobody else is actively doing anything. Fine, I'll go here. I was gonna go for the other guy, but uh Bam Bam, not in in my way. Out of the way. Move, move, move your ass. Are, is your goal just to block me, guys? Down he goes. Alright, Mad Mardigan got the kill. I'm gonna get that. So Bam Bam is uh he's down here. So what happened was he died, we couldn't rescue him in time, and so he spawned over here somewhere. Uh so we're gonna have to go rescue him. Make sure I'm, uh, whoops. I don't need grenades. Chaos cults make no sense. What drives these braggers? Regular ammo I could use at this point, but not 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 grenades. There is no redemption for such Alright, now they can rescue Bambi. I'll grab those. I also don't know why people if one person's already going for something, why do a bunch of other people um I don't know where that went. I don't know where my grenade went. I don't know why other people like sprint to get in front of you and get it first. You know what I'm saying? There's somebody covering that. Do something else. Be useful in another way. It's not to say I don't always do it. Sometimes I go forward and and they're already moving. That, that's definitely a, a possibility. Well, that's a lot of dudes. Let's just... Uh... There was a grenade. Shoot people. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this one. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's got good stopping power. Uh, I just prefer the las my las rifle better. I do have a flashlight though. That's nice. That was completely accidental, unless somebody else did it on purpose. I think it was probably me that hit the barrel, but who knows, but not on purpose. It just happened to be standing there.
Get him up. Yeah, the medication station is there, but it's always better to kind of clean the room out first. I do have a lot of corruption, though, from getting eaten by that uh, demon. All right, I'm up to 100 rounds. Oh. Oh. All right, up the stairs. Let's catch up with Bam Bam here. Oh, he, he, he busted out the big guns there. Busted out the big... Oh, well, there's ammo here. I'm going to go grab this. This is a bigger cache of ammo. There we go, 284. I'm beginning to feel almost okay now. A lot of times... Oh, there we go. See, we've sprinted ahead and left bad guys behind us. Just, you know, turn to the left every once in a while, guys. That's all it takes. See, look at that. They just sat there, stood next to him, ignored him, and let him go. Those people all, those are the, those are the mad Bardigan ran right past that guy and left the loot. Come on, man. Look around. Look around, guys. Everybody, this game is one you have to, you have, your head has to be on a swivel. Always look around. Now I'm the one that's up top here. I need to drop down. I'm going to get some ammo and then I'll drop down. see what else we got going on. Like I said, I'm not good at this game, but uh, I'm not complete trash. Um, uh, anybody else? Bam Bam needs ammo. I, need that. I don't. The only one that does is Bam Bam, but okay. Um, he doesn't clearly want it, so we'll grab it. There you go, Mad Mart again. Shoot somebody. F I was going to say for once, but that's not even a little bit fair. Not even a little bit fair. So that happens, people run past you, and then you get smacked in the back with a, a Ravager or something. Um, I don't know where Lil Wang's going, but hold on. Hold off, buddy. Let's clear the area first. I don't know if there's any scriptures on this one. Uh, there isn't, because it doesn't say to get him up on the top right, I guess. I ran out of ammo. And now I... There we go. Maybe I get a shot on him. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this one. I'm, I'm going to go with this ammo if somebody else doesn't. If they do, that's fine. Again, Bam Bam could use it. Doesn't want it. Uh, I don't need this. There's a penance for rescuing people, helping them back up. So, you know what? Even if you're a selfish bastard, you can still help people up because it benefits yourself in the long run. Quick reload. What does this got? This doesn't seem like it's got a lot of rounds in it. 29. Yeah, I think I'm definitely going back to my my last piece. All right, so this will be the final one. A guy will jump down from there, and we will hopefully kill him, or or die badly. One of the two. All right, I'm gonna hit F, and then I'm gonna be blocked the entire time. No, no, we're not. All right. Try to get through a shield here. Just stick the uh, the healing thing there. It's like the ogrens are taking turns blocking my shot. It's hard when you're an ogren. I'm just going to spray in there for a second. Down he goes. Come up here and get some healing. Give me a cup. Oh, that was it. Hey, I got a war gear. I got an operative. First assignment. I don't know what that one is. We'll have to find out. Um, went pretty good, actually, all things considered. 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I know I bitch about the party, but that's because I bitch about the party. That, that doesn't have anything to do with them being terribly bad or anything like that. Uh, we did have the one death where Bam Bam went down and didn't come up. So, I mean, it wasn't great, but um, we made it through. We made it through. For the levels we are, it was a little tougher than it needed to be. Let's just say that. Um, get a little bit of loot. Um, it wasn't. It didn't count as a death, in interestingly enough. The fact that he did die and move somewhere else, I thought that was what uh, counted as a death. So I guess it, no deaths. We'll take it. And we'll find out what that penance was that we completed in just a second here. I had to get a little sip of my Coca-Cola, though. Not sponsored, but you know what, Coke, if you, uh, you're looking. I'd, I'd, I'd happily... Uh, I begrudgingly work with you if, you know, you know, if, if I had to, you know. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Loading screen. Come on. Spin, 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 spin. No crash. So that's good. Means my next mission I will. I've, I've been going about since changing graphics cards to uh, AMD Radeon 6700 XT. I've been getting about one crash every other episode and uh, or every other mission. And the last mission I played was my... Uh, was a mission for camera and we crashed in it. So uh, let's see, I haven't even looked to see what my weeklies are for this character yet. Um, do they not count till you look? Maybe you should look right away. Um, well, we didn't do that, we didn't do that. We did kill a monstrosity though, so I didn't get credit for it. Maybe because I hadn't looked yet. So make sure you look because apparently your weeklies don't actually take effect till you look um, because that, that demon that we killed does count as a monstrosity. So. I got hosed a little bit. I could have got a mission. I could have got a monstrosity. I'm not going to kill a lot of things with melee, but they are drag. Oh, I don't remember which one the dregs are. Oh, I have to look to see if that's one. Three secondary missions. I never complete a secondary objective. I can't tell you the last time they've actually picked up all of the scriptures or all of the grimoires. Um, they just never do it. Uh, finding a party you get maybe one person that'll help pick one up and maybe you get two, but I'd never get three. So for me, this is just an automatic uh, swap out. I, I just replace them because I just, unless I'm playing with an actual set party, I can't get those. So scabbed with range is much better for me. Even if scabbed isn't a lot of them, it's still, still more likely. Uh, let's check see what that penance was that we got. Um, hold on, let's go. Oh, we were in the right place. Penance. Um, first assignment. Oh, it's 100 missions. Oh, okay. Nice. Um, and it looks like we get a border <laughs> and this or one or the other. Uh, I don't know. Let's go. Let's go take a look at our um, cosmetics. So we got a new frame. Maybe. I don't think I don't think it was a new frame. I think these are all ones we had. So maybe it's a new ribbon? No. No accessory. Maybe it was a frame. Hmm. Let's see if we can get it to pop up here. Let's go um, penance, first assignment. So that's, I believe, just, why can we not click on it here? Maybe because it's in the summary? I think it's missions, first assignment. Here we go. Um, so we got this one, operative. Whoops, hold on. So we got operative. Okay. So initially... So then the next one will be Inspiring Operative. Huh, okay. Five levels. One, two. No idea for three, if anything. Four, five. It doesn't list something for three. Does it have a different name? It doesn't tell us what the next one is. Um, so I don't know. Hmm. Okay, well we got we got we got that frame. So completing a mission type on uprising for veteran got us this patrol adept. Uh, and we've completed two for whatever that's worth. I don't know what we needed to do 
Do we have to do two of them on each mission of Uprising Threat or how? Like, I don't, again, it doesn't tell you um, where you're at on this. This is one of the things I would really like added into the game is where are you within this? Like, what have you done or not done? You know what I'm saying? Um, it just says complete a mission type on Uprising Threat. Okay, well, you do that once, you get this. Okay, well, what did I do twice to get, did I do two of them on that? I've run 100 missions, so it seems like, you know, I, I don't know. If I run like the one mission that I don't seem to run very often, will I be able to knock those out really quickly? I, I have no idea because I don't know what's required. So small bitch um, or uh, uh, suggestion, maybe we'll say. Uh, bitch is probably more accurate. <laughs> but I think it's I think that would be useful to know where I am in there. But I think they are actually going to do something. We take a look, see. Recon Lasgun. OK, that's not the one I love. I think this. No, the one I like says versatility. Rapid fire versatility, I think, is the one I like. Um, how long have we been going? We're going 33 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over. And just to show you this other one here, let's go. Um, we'll go to this. We'll go to the uh, Cycanium real fast. That's what we'll do. Um, if I figure out which direction I need to run. And I'll show you these other two weapons. Uh, give you an idea of kind of where things stand with with Marksman. I do really like the Marksman. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, my only problem is just there's too many of them. Um, but other than that, I've got no real bitches on them. They're a little bit challenging figuring out to stay in coherency, to stay with the group, but also stay back enough to do your job, uh, which is one of the reasons why um, I really do like this other last gun because it allows me, um, you saw how much the auto gun climbed and was difficult to control. Now, that seems to be only an issue if you do single shots. It felt like when I just held the gun down, held the trigger down there on the end and went full auto on it, that it didn't climb nearly as much per shot. Um, that it was a lot easier to hold on target. So we can definitely take a look at that. So this is that last gun and you can see we can, we can pop up here and do great headshots, right? So sniping with it is amazing, right? Get in our, get in our, uh, our, uh, do a quick reload. Reloads are very fast. We get back in. Now we come in close. You can, you can just ban the trigger, right? Now it doesn't have full auto, so you do have to squeeze the trigger, but you can, you're in here fairly close. You can do what you need to do until I have to reload. All right. So I really like this one. I think this one's pretty easy to use. I think it's easy to get in on stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and, uh, is this the one that you have to hit to switch? Yeah. You can just do this manually by hitting escape. You don't have to, you don't have to click on this. So that's the infantry last gun. This will be the recon. So this one is versatile high capacity. This one's rapid fire high capacity. So we'll go ahead and quick get, and we'll get back in here. And you can see now I no longer have my, uh, my fancy scope, but it is still pretty easy to hit, um, with, uh, with your sniper shots. So, and you know, up close, and we get a full auto. So that's pretty cool. I just don't tend to use the full auto very often, which maybe is why I don't appreciate them as much, because I just don't stay on it as much. I probably should. I tend to be more of a of a of um, an ammo hoarder. You know what I'm saying? So now let's go ahead and let's go ahead and we'll flip one more time to our uh, inventory gun, the one we just used. And let's see what happens when we stay on the trigger with it. We reload. Yeah, I mean, oh wait, so I'm not gonna touch the mouse. We're just gonna sit here and see what happens. How does it climb? Nope, you can go nine shots. So it looked like it started climbing about five. Let's, let's, we're at 29. Let's hold the trigger and see where it starts to climb. That last one. So it looks like you get four or five shots before you really start to climb. But if we just do one shot, okay, here it doesn't climb at all. If we snipe, we start to climb right away. See how much it's jump jumping after just one shot? So it seems to be only an issue if you snipe, but if you, if you just stay where you're at, you'll stay right on target. So auto guns obviously hit a little bit more. So if we go in one more time here, let's, let's hop in. So. You can see um, 94 and 94. So same damage whether you're, you're scoped or not. 
uh, 46 and 46 on the recon, and 111, though, here on the infantry last gun. And maybe that's what I like about it more than this. Maybe because I tend to be a single shot guy rather than a whole auto, that this, this high damage per shot really helps me. But look, it's got 97 ammo in the clip and 550 total. This is 29, right? So three times as many. So I don't tend to run out while going after one group. I can reload between groups and I'm fine. Um, this is 82, which I like as well. Um, 459 for your max. So I, I do get 100 less-ish. Um, so in theory, that means I'm getting half the damage for the same amount of total capacity, right? Still 82. And again, you can hold things down. Um, this is nice when you're in close. You know, if you get in there, you get a close range kill with it. People can't snipe you from the distance. You get in close, you stay in the fight, and nobody's going to be able to hurt you from, from outside of the fight, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, and again, this bonus is only good on that initial shot when you use your special ability, but that extra reload speed is really nice because you can see it has a reload of 3.9 seconds, right? So having that extra 7% um, is really nice, whereas this has a reload of 3.3, uh, so a little bit more, and this has a reload of 2.7. So there you go. Um, quick reload speed and a full auto is... Uh, Pretty damn cool. I, uh, yeah, actually, I might have just changed my mind. Although I have used it and I still prefer this one. So it just must be the hitting power. Uh, now, this one is 220, this one's 240 as far as base, this one's 265. So this is by far my best as a base weapon, but I just don't like it. I just don't like it. it. It is what it is. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling from me. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back next time. Cheers.